Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to The Poop Show. My name is Erin. What's up? Please, please do not forget to make sure that you have done the thumbs up. Also, if you are new here, there's a button over here that says subscribe. Click that, then click the bell notification, and then you'll know when to see the face. So like, subscribe, bell, face. Let's get into the video. Monday to you. Happy Monday indeed. Lip, Dollar General Believe brand. It is their own brand. This is in the color mischief. We like this. A lot of you have commented on the earrings. I made these. I made them very incorrectly, but I made them. I don't even care that they're off. Like, I just like them. Um, Bones with coconut creamer and a little bit of pure and not, or not all, not the pure, the high key sweetener. And it hasn't all dissolved, so it's a little gritty. Why do I like it? Air freshener and water enhancers. What everyone carries with them to work, right? I also have my fasting drops in there because I'm doing an IF today. Uh, had a little bit of a later fasting window yesterday. I did not finish eating until about 8.30 at night. Um, just because I cooked a little bit later because I ate lunch a little bit later. So it was all like offset. Um... But I'm good. 12.30 is okay for me to, to drink the chow. I may not even drink it at that point. I may wait. Heading into work a little bit early just because I um, have a trainee starting today. My assistant manager starts today. Uh, so she will be training for the next four weeks because she is part-time. So she trains part-time. Um, but I did not get any of her stuff ready. Like... They all get a binder when they first come in. I have none of it ready because I was so busy with CJ and then I was out of my office for a week. And I've never done back-to-backs like that. So, super fun for me. I'm gonna head in, peruse my property because I haven't been there in a week. Let's see if there's, you know, anything that's, you know, pressing, any issues that are super pressing. How do you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars in your driveway slash lawn. I was busy yesterday, guys. I filmed seven videos and edited nine. Yes, I did. Filmed seven, edited nine. I mean, granted, some of them were not long. Like, I did the grocery haul, which was under two minutes. You know, that didn't take me but 10 minutes to do in total. I did the, the hey, this is what I weighed video. But there were a couple that were reviews and stuff and a recipe video that, you know, took me a little bit of, a little bit of effort, a little bit of time. I have a week and two days until I'm off for five days, six days. So excited. I'm off Wednesday to Tuesday next week. I'm just so stoked for it. Like I'm so excited. I feel like this is going to come out 
No, it's in there. I'm just, I'm so ready to not move for a little bit. And not even saying that because like my first day of like vacation is me staying here. Like I'm just off for the day. Then my second day, I fly to New Jersey. My third day, I torture myself for three hours to get new inkage. Then we have handbag bingo that night. Saturday, we're, I guess we're going out to dinner or having, it's, uh, we're seeing my aunt, my aunt and my uncle. And then Sunday, who knows? Monday, who knows? And then Tuesday, I fly home. I was thinking I might take my nephew to Six Flags. I have not decided yet because it is an obnoxious amount of money for a theme park. Like, and I know, I pay 125 bucks per ticket for Disney World, but that's a whole experience. Six Flags experience is trying not to die and avoiding the hoodlums. <laughs> like, it's, it's not, I don't think it's worth $67, whether it's Fright Fest or not. Plus, I'm not a big jump out and scare me please type person. As a matter of fact, don't or I'm gonna hit you in the face. I don't like it, never have. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I do know I wanna stop in and see my old assistant manager with the yawning. Oh. All right guys, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna drink my coffee, I'm gonna go to work. Side note, bones, chocolate hazelnut, better cold than hot. Okay, hi. So I put in one of these. They are the little doohickeys, Glade plugins. And it's in like spring or crisp apple is the, the scent that I believe I chose. Um, my office is fairly large. Like I would say probably six or 700 square feet. And it smells like October blew up in this bitch. I'm loving life. Hey guys, my keto gift swap came today. We actually both got ours like on the same day, which was cool. So she sent me some barbecue flavored pork rinds that have seen better days, but that's okay. They'll still taste amazing. Some grape zip fizz. I can't grab them. Grape zip fizz. A Radon gulp. Some avocado oil. Some jalapeno aioli. This is, I believe, a little tea infuser. So that'll be fun. Um, some feel good chocolate milk. I've never seen this before. It's no carbs. Contains no dairy, enjoy it hot or cold. Ooh, we will be trying that. Some hemp seed hearts, a mug cake. This Vermont Maple Grove coffee. Some strawberry shrewd foods, protein crisps. Super excited for this. Very excited for the cereal school. A good fats bar. <coughs> um, blueberry cinnamon bun flavored almond butter. I've had legendary foods before. They are delicious. Some keto matcha MCT oil powder. Mushroom coffee. A chocolate chip muffin mug cake. Some true lime. An avocado saver. A Think Thin High Protein Bar, some gum, another little True Lime, some MCT oil in for the Fat Bomb, this original snack, so sunflower kernels, cheddar cheese, and something else, almonds. Oh, snack sticks. And yeah, that's it. I love it, especially this. Like, I'm super excited for this. I don't know why. But listen, I'm not going to lie. I haven't eaten yet today. Um, I think I'm going to take, I want to try the cereal school stuff. Okay, so you guys are propped up on my little table. I want to try this. This is the first thing I've had to eat all day. I am working on like a 20 hour fast. So I have wanted to try this and I just haven't pulled the trigger yet. Um, it's zero carbs for the bag. Oh, it smells like tricks. It's just cereal. It is keto cereal. Looks like tricks. So it tastes like tricks in the front end. And then it definitely makes itself very clear that it is not tricks, but it's decent. Like I wouldn't be super, super mad at it. I could probably have that not be mad. How many grams of fat is it? Oh no. So it's three and a half grams of fat. Hundred calories, three and a half grams of fat, zero carbs, sixteen protein. 
I'm gonna eat this. And I'm gonna go back to work at break or have my chow. I'm gonna put some almond milk over this, I think. Hey, how are things? What's going on? My throat is sore. Hydrated AF. This is my fourth one. I think I have some green tea that I can have when I get home, so I'm gonna do that as well. And hopefully I can not get sick. Her son is sick. He actually went home from school today and her mom took him to the doctor. It's like, it's like a whole, it's a whole event. Holy sun glare, wow, ow. Um, so food wise today was a really weird day fully intended on breaking my fast, which was 19 hours by the way, um, with keto chow and I did not, uh, 18 and a half hours roughly. Um, because I decided to have that cereal school cereal do not recommend. So it has a great flavor when you first start. It's fruity pebbles, it's tricksy, it's it's all that fun stuff. And then it kind of becomes like a protein mash. It's very, very strange. Um, I'm super glad that she sent that to me because now I know not to buy it. Um, it's, yeah, I wasn't the biggest fan but I'm so super appreciative that she sent it to me. Like I was so excited. Um, and then I wound up eating the good fats bar that was in the box as well. So I did not eat the keto chow. I didn't need it. I'm not hungry. It's six o'clock. He should be home like literally right when I get home. Tonight we are going to do the sausage sauce and cheese. And, and I think because I'm super low on fats, um, I think the good fats bar is 18 and the cereal was like four grams of fat or something. I don't remember how much it is. I'm under 60 grams of fat, I think. Um, I'm gonna have the sausage and the sauce and the cheese. And I am also going to, I think, make a garlic cheesy chuffle thing. I'm very, very excited to put that in my face. I have not done a chuffle in a minute, you guys. A minute. Tomorrow, all my Flavor God seasonings arrive. Huh. Very excited. Very excited for the Flavor God stuff. Um, I really want the ranch. Like, I really hope that it's yummy, and I really want the ketchup, and I really want the pizza seasoning and the honey barbecue. Yes, I know some of them have sugar in them, but it is such a minuscule amount, and considering all of the other ingredients that are in, like, Mrs. Dash and McCormick and all that, I'll take a little bit of sugar over 900 different things. So, because we all know I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier as I eat the cereal school and good bars or good fat bars, whatever they're called. Um, but yeah, so sausage and sauce and cheese for dinner. And I cannot wait to put on sweatpants. These pants, ugh, these pants, these are my new pants, the Michael Kors. First of all, I can't cut locks in these pants because the metal shards from the grinder cutting through the disc lock uh, destroys my pants. Like it, there were shards throughout all of my pants. Um, also, I need a belt or I need these pants to shrink because they're huge. They were a little bit tighter in the store and they have very much so stretched out and they fall down when I walk. And they also, uh, they just, they fall down when I walk. I'm just going to put that out there. And the underwear that I'm wearing also falls down. So my day was very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. I don't know. I will show you guys when I have dinner. I will show you what it is. And I will talk to you all later. Oh, hey. So I totally forgot. Someone asked me why I say shit or crap in the beginnings of my videos. Why I say welcome to the crap show. Welcome to the shit show. The short answer to that part of the question is because my life is a keto shit show. Like sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not, it's up for grabs. The second part of her thing was because sometimes children are present. So to that I have to say, I am an adult, I curse. It is not my responsibility to censor myself in a video on my channel because your child is present in your home 
God only knows where. If I were hanging out with you and you preferred me not to curse in front of your child, by all means, I would absolutely honor your wish. However, this is my channel. You should know by now, unless you're new, that I curse. I do the things. I am a real person. I grew up with my parents cursing in front of me. Cursing, by the way, not cussing. I hate the word cussing. Say curse. I grew up with them cursing in front of me. They grew up with their parents cursing in front of them. We are all very well adjusted human beings. Hearing the word shit once a day isn't going to make your child a serial killer or a criminal of any sort. And if it does, that it doesn't. That is not the reason your child is a criminal. So just keep that in mind. I say shit because I can, because I am an adult and I enjoy the word shit. Shit, 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 shit. Shit. Ah, sweatpants. Okay, so this is dinner. So I have a garlic Parmesan chuffle. And then I have, uh, what do I have? Two hot sausage links with Rao's, Rao's, however the hell you say it. Uh, sauce and Parmesan cheese. And I'm going to go and enjoy the hell out of this.